This is the case of 64 year old female known case of diabetes and hypertension. She presented with us as a case of spontaneous rupture of Achilles tendon. Achilles tendon rupture is common in patients with poor health, steroid intake, sometimes antibiotics like in the fluoroquinone intake. It usually is predisposed by inflammation around the tendon and usually occurs at the site 4 to 6 cm from the heel area. We have marked the incision site, we have marked distal stump of the tendon, proximal stump and marked the incision site as well. The sites marked are medial malleolus, sural nerve as well as insertion or point of at least tendon. We are doing Thompson's test which is positive. It means by the by the squeeze of calf we are not able to uh, plant or flex the foot. We have explored the area. You can see the tendon is completely torn and the injury has occurred exactly at the watershed area which is 4 to 6 centimeter proximal to insertion of at least tendon. Now uh, we have uh, localized this area of sural nerve, we will try avoid the section that, that area to avoid the injury. Proximal and distal stump will be separated, non-viable tissue will be debrided, we will ensure that we do only conservative debridement, otherwise we have to keep foot in more plant reflection and it may act as a stressor on the anastomosis. After thorough assessment, what we are planning is do modified Krakow technique plus gift box technique to, to uh, anastomose the tendon which we will demonstrate. We will start modified crack off from the distal stump. What we do, we, we take bite from the core of the tendon. We take bite almost 10 to 15 millimeter bites and we lock every loop. What is, uh, what, is uh, what makes it different from uh, normal uh, Kessler's technique is that we lock loops and we ensure that after every loop we tighten it. If we don't tighten it, later on it will lead to weakness of the anastomosis. We take two to three locking loops on each side of tendon. Here we have taken two, three, three locking loops on each side of tendon. The reason being the cut is very poor. It has torn the tendon. Had it been sharp cut, maybe two locking loops ha would have been suffice. We ensure that we tell our assistant to hold the free end of free end of suture. Uh, in a very uh, tight manner so that there is no uh, no buckling of thread after we make three locking loops on one side we pass needle to other side the technique we do is that we pass the needle through the tendon only because we don't want any part of thread to be exposed the exposed thread sometimes leads to adhesions and sometimes there may be some some problem in gliding of the tendon after doing, after taking locking loops from lateral side, we go to medial side. Again, we take Another three one. locking loops. Again, we take locking loops at a distance of around 10 to 15 millimeters. And again, we tighten every locking loop after we take the bite. And, uh, and as usual, we exit through the core of tendon. Here we have exited from core of tendon. Now we check for strength. You can see once we pull the thread, Foot goes into plantar flexion so this suture is strong enough to hold to bear the strength of plantar flexion of foot we thoroughly check it and during this process if there is some part of thread is loose it also gets tightened now we keep this thread uh, preserved and we'll uh, carry on same type of sutures on the proximal stump for gift box technique we don't need to cut the cut the needle tip because we have to we have to insert suture this tip uh, distal into proximal stump and proximal into distal stump so this needle is very important for us what we do in normal crack off sutures we take uh, we we uh, we suture we make knot of upper and lower crack off sutures but that knot comes in between the anastomosis here it we avoid that knot that knot plus it technically converts uh, two core into four core sutures now as you see we are doing a following same technique on the proximal side we are taking bites 10 to 15 millimeters apart and we are making lock locking loops we we target making three locking loops on lateral aspect and three on middle aspect see we are inserting needle from lateral to middle side what you must have noted is that we have taken two bites the reason of taking two bites is that tendon on the proximal side was uh, very wide so to reach from uh, lateral to medial aspect we needed 
uh, to take two bytes so that our whole of the suture remains inside the tendon so we have make another locking loops and again we have tightened loop at the at the end of every every byte and we have told assistant to hold the free end of the loop uh, loop with him there is a torn part of tendon which is which is which was overhanging the overhanging the rupture site where not cut it because uh, it's the principle of plastic surgery to save the viable tissue now this tissue is viable we have kept it as such what we'll do we'll use this hanging uh, hanging uh, part of tissue to wrap around anastomosis now we are we are we want to confirm that uh, is the what is the strength of our uh, our uh, crack of sutures the strength feels to be good and proximal as well as uh, distal stumps get easily approximated once we tighten this see now we are converting this crack of into modified gift gift box technique we are we are uh, we are taking a bite from uh, proximal stump free suture uh, to the lower distal stump we have taken two bites now we will use same needle to cross cross and come back through core of the suture we will we will uh, approximate it with other free free tie of the same suture that means proximal crack we will hold it in some artery forceps and we will repeat same process from the needle of uh, distal stump from needle of distal crack we have taken a, a bite of uh, proximal stump now taken another bite now we will uh, come back we have taken one bite we have taken another bite we have come uh, come from lower side now we will approximate these two these are two ends of actually two ends of lower uh, lower crack of suture lower stump we will take we will suture them you can see that the uh, that the anastomosis feels to be very strong now our assistant will hold the knot and we will take a knot we ensure that during this process foot is in plantar flexion so that anastomosis site is not stressed out we will take 5-6 sutures we will do same with another Krakow another loop this was actually a uh, proximal, uh, proximal thread see we are tightening it we ensure that it is tightened very strongly and there is good approximation and good contact area of tendon assistant will hold the knot we'll make one more knot then few more knots so our uh, gift box technique converted two core suture into four core suture and it is research proven that is strong now uh, as we discussed earlier there's a torrent tendon what we'll do we'll wrap it around it has some advantages the first advantage is that it's strength second advantage is that we'll hide all all the sutures deep inside third it will help help in gliding now the surf now there are multiple surfaces multiple uh, interfaces one is skin fascia wrap around tendon then the core tendon we will will suture it again It will not only help in gliding it will give some vascularity as well as it is proximally based the suture used in core sutures that means krakow and gift box technique suture was ithibond 2-0 the reason of using it was it is a braided it is polyester and synthetic material with a very minimal tissue reaction it is coated with polyvitylate coating which acts as a lubricant and provide and allows smooth passage through material and knotting is very good and knotting is very secure and easy it is non-absorbable that means the suture stays there indefinitely uh, in the tendon for long and provides permanent tissue strength you can see we are going around with wrapping of that uh, tendon proximal tendon around the anastomosis site you can see that we are using very small threads 40 proline for uh, for suture purposes and you can see that surface is turning around uh, uh, turning around to be very smooth this smooth surface prevents some addition and helps an easy glide of tendon there are some areas of body we are smooth uh, having a smooth surface is the advantage not only smooth surface it has provided a good contour the posterior aspect of ankle 
the uh, the contour is actually defined by the Achilles tendon. There are some points which are which define the shape. These are medial malleolus, lateral malleolus, heel, and the contour of Achilles tendon. We are reconstructing that contour as well. Plus, you must have noted that, as I mentioned earlier, that we ensure that we don't mess around with area of sural nerve. We ensure that sural nerve is preserved in all cases because it provides sensation for the lateral aspect of foot. Again, we check Thomson's test. It is negative this time. This is the well preserved sural nerve, and this is the repaired tendon. So we go ahead with again uh, doing Thompson's test. It is negative this time. That means once we squeeze the calf, foot goes in plantar flexion. You must have seen the suture site. It is slightly off center and it is it is parallel to sural nerve and it's away from the point where uh, where the upper part of uh, footwear impinges on the Achilles tendon because this be sometimes becomes a painful point. This is the after application of fiber cast. 